is expensive to raise a child and it requires more planning when the child has special needs either physical or mental ailments. It is extremely important to chart a way forward and ensure his or her mental and physical needs are taken care of as an adult after the parents pass on. Here are some steps the parents can take to enable this. Number one, calculate your child's future expenses. The first step here is to estimate the financial support the child will require as an adult. Calculate his or her regular and medical expenses, any medical equipment, services of a helper, trained assistant that he or she may need. Factor in inflation and calculate the future expenses. Calculate this and build a corpus or set up a trust for him. And create a budget for yourself so that you know how much you're likely to spend till the time you're taking care of the child. An additional tip, take the support of a medical expert to arrive at all the correct figures for these calculations. Number two, appoint a guardian. Critical step is to identify a person you know who will take care of your child's needs without financially exploiting him or her in your absence. It can be from among the family or friends, and must be someone who is likely to outlive the child. Don't pick someone who is as old as you or your parents. You can also give partial guardianship to take care of the specific needs like medical or financial care. Appoint a guardian and take the help of a lawyer to draft this agreement and get it signed with the guardian. Number three. Set up a trust. This is the next important step. Set up a trust to protect the financial assets for your child. Put in any assets that you want. It could be money, cash in hand, cash in bank, properties, equity, jewelry. As in the case of guardian, appoint a trustee. And this could be a tricky process again because you'll have to find a suitable person. You may also appoint an institution, say a bank as a trustee. Again, take the help of a lawyer to ensure that the process is foolproof. Number four, buy life and health insurance. Parents should buy a term life insurance. It could include the child's financial needs in the sum assured. The proceeds from the term plan can go into the trust after the parents pass on. Getting a whole life term insurance could also be a good idea. While it may not be easy to get a health plan for the child given his or her medical condition, still try to get one even if it is for basic hospitalization. If this is not possible, build a buffer keeping in mind inflation and his medical needs. Fifth, write a will. Draw up a will as soon as possible, even if you are young, and do so with the help of a lawyer. List down all your assets that you want to leave for the trust you want to leave for the child in the trust. Mention the guardians and the trustees that you are appointing for the child. List down their responsibilities clearly so that there is no ambiguity in the end. There is no challenge. Okay? Make sure every draft is clear. I trust this video was useful for you. Do share what you've learned in the comments below. Also, do you know any parents with special children? Pass on this video to them. If you don't know any, send this video in various women's groups that you are a part of. This may reach the parent who needs this, who needs to be contributed with this video. Take charge. Keep supporting us while we support you. Loads of love.